Hi there and welcome to a new video. In this one, we are going to be comparing the two main forks, the two main alternatives, if we can call them like that, that we have to Gaudot. And I'm talking about Redot and Blasium Engine. So if you don't know what a fork is, it is basically a copy of the exact same Gaudot code and basically by making a fork you are able to make any change to it because remember that Godot is open source so basically its code is over here for free for literally everybody on the internet so if you go to the repository you can click over here on this arrow press create a new fork and by doing this in just a couple of seconds you will have let's say your own copy of Godot's code and from here you would be able to technically modify any aspect of the engine so this is what these two are doing right now to basically both uh, manage the community in other way as Godot uh, did or has done and to also implement uh, some features that maybe wasn't uh, that weren't heard by uh, Godot okay so basically they are trying to make everything a uh, community driven instead of having Godot isn't a company but well th there are actually a lot of people behind that take these decisions so basically they want to be able to allow the community to have much more control over the project maybe there are other forks of a uh, Godot but well these are the two most known and in order to do this, I'm going to be using here some slides so that we can actually understand everything. We have some points and we're going to be uh, going through each of them to understand which one is the best alternative, at least until now. So the first point that we're going to be taking in account is basically the size of the community. So Redot, for example, here has over 20k followers whereas Vlasium uh, has only 400. The thing here is that Vlasium started like just some days ago on October the 10th, or at least here they started posting on October the 10th. Our oh, well, Reddit actually has been here since the drama started a couple of weeks ago. I think it was the first fork or at least the first one on uh, going viral or actually getting a uh, traction in the algorithm. So that's why the the number of people that know Redot is much bigger than the number of people that know and maybe even contribute to Blasium. Not only that, but also, for example, Redot has its own YouTube channel, which has over 3k of subscribers. We literally no content uh, uploaded. And also both have uh, their own uh, Discord servers. Okay, so if we go, for example, here to the website, uh, here they both have their own um, their own Discord server, and here we can also quickly realize the change, okay, the the difference actually in in number of people. So for example, here we have over nine thousand people in Redot, and in Blasium, we only have something like three hundred people. And why is this so so important? Because as this is an open source project and a project that actually started from complete scratch with no actual built team behind, with no money behind, okay? Um, basically, 100%, it, they both rely on community, on volunteers, on people wanting to freely contribute to the engine. So um, that's the reason why having a big community is a crucial thing. Now, in point two, we have um, the community roadmap. So basically, as I explained before, one of the main things of this is the community, how the community is going to be managed, because one of the main reasons why they are creating these forks is to be able to manage the community, to manage the developers a little bit differently from what Godot has done uh, or has been doing. Um, so indeed, having a clear roadmap of, of what things want to be done to the engine is also quite important, and in this case, Red Dot until now it doesn't really have like a community roadmap officially released and posted there, but a uh, Blast Zoom has. Of course, both have the exact same like let's say mission of a uh, creating a community driven project and an open source project, of course. But well, having this community roadmap just makes things a little bit more transparent, clearer for people because 
we know uh, let's say the step-by-step -step, uh, process that the engine will have and this is stated in the uh, X account. So if we go over here, engine and community roadmap, we are going to be talking about the engine roadmap in a second. But for example, we find here the Blasium community roadmap. So if we click over here, we will find here an amazing um, board with all the things related to community. And we can see these things changing in real time. So let's say that here, this person over here has finished creating the logo variations for Steam well then when they put it here in progress or 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 in done uh we're going to be seeing these changes reflecting this board in real time so for example over here we have some of the plans that they have over here for the community which for example includes having some tutorials for the engine they are creating some logo variations for the different platforms in which they are planning to release the engine if they had here some in progress tasks, well, they would put it here and tasks that have already been done would appear over there. And well, unfortunately, Red Dot doesn't have anything uh, similar to this kind of board. Uh, of course, they have here tons of posts explaining community and explaining more things. For example, if we scroll down a little bit, we will find here this post in which they talk literally about everything about the Red Dot project, for example, community and development. But well, it's not the same just having here a piece of text that having this board, of course. Now, uh, thirdly, we have uh, if it has or not a release available. So Red Dot was, a, let's say, officially released. It does have some kind of version that you can start using right now. Uh, and Blast Zoom doesn't. Of course, it is still in the plans of having a release available um, as soon as possible. But well, currently, the, the only fork that has um a release available between these two is red dot because for example if we go over here to github and i'm going to go inside of red dot engine over here in the releases section and if i scroll down a little bit in the assets i will find all the corresponding versions of the engine here some to note though is the fact that this version the only thing that it has is this new horizon color that as you can see adds here an actual horizon to the 3d environment and uh, also other thing that adds is basically a, um, a change in the color theme now instead of having like a, all this um, blue it is going to be a mixture of gray um, black and a red color okay um wh why am, am i mentioning this because, well, it does have an official release, but it doesn't have much things. It is just a rebranding of the official engine. And now lastly, super connected to this, Red Dot doesn't have an engine roadmap officially released. It actually doesn't have any kind of roadmap right now, either on community or in engine. It doesn't have any clear roadmap. Uh, and well, actually, Blast Zoom does have a community roadmap and an engine roadmap as well. So if we actually take a look at the github once again and we find here the blood zoom engine roadmap we find something quite similar uh we can actually go here to a status board and uh, we would see it uh, in uh, in the same board as we have seen in the community roadmap um so basically here we do see some kind of plans that they have for the engine okay um we can see here some of the plans uh, that they have for the engine itself we, we can see some things that are already ready or well that are quite close to be released uh, ready to be picked up for example uh, be released on google play be released on app store it is currently uh, going to be started probably soon on meta store uh in progress steam itch.io windows store epic games store so we do have here a much clearer roadmap of what is probably going to be happening uh, to blast zoom uh, soon okay and in red Dot, uh, we don't really have this so uh, this reason uh, the last one of having a roadmap uh, for some people it means that a blast zoom seems more as a more formal project um that could be a little bit more organized than red dot okay i am not saying this is a fact okay this is uh, some uh, some stuff that i have read uh, in my youtube comments okay in the light in the latest videos i have made on red dot okay so well there you can create uh, your own opinion because what I feel that uh, Blast Zoom is doing right now 
um, instead of uh, releasing here a, a version with just one two changes and the rebranding besides doing that what maybe they are trying to do is to merge uh, all these changes or maybe a few of them for the first release besides the rebranding of course um just to make sure that there's at least a little bit of new content okay because once again this is just an opinion not a fact some people uh, when this was released okay the public release 4.4 beta was released maybe they were expecting a little bit more new things not just a rebranding so maybe blasium is aware of this situation and they said okay we don't want to let's say commit this same mistake and we do want to provide new content to the users uh, but well that is just something that that I, I have came up to of course everything is quite uncertain until now both are super new engines if we can call them like this these two new forks are super super new so of course we can completely decide on each of them to use from here to five six years if that's your idea with or if that was your idea with godot so as everything is moving super super fast and also godot didn't post anything for something like 15 days um maybe we should wait for the answer that they may have if they actually have one and from there we can see how both forks or even more forks if there are of e or if they are created evolve and well when that is done maybe you are able to make a wiser choice but well at least with this video you now have a better information on the the two main forks that currently exist so if you want to always know the latest news about all this about godot redel blasium etc make sure that you are subscribed because i am always uploading this type of content see you in the next one and bye bye